sometimes people have what it takes, but they haven't recognized it yet. Just go forward. So what do you need to do? How do you stand out? So what you need to do is be that person that's different and is bigger than you think. Rise from the ashes and fly like the phoenixes that you are. Welcome, everybody, and good day, good afternoon, good evening to some of you, depending on where you're at in the world. Appreciate all you being on. This is Andrew David. This is Blake Newbar's high performance call that we do daily, Monday through Friday, noon Eastern time. If you're watching live, that's great. If you're not, that's okay too. Now, I provided for you a link um, in, let me give you this. So I'm going to, I dropped it into the Skype group. I'm going to put it in here as well. Okay. So that link yesterday, we talked about these, this ABC model when it comes to looking at your priorities and this model breakthrough scorecards, kind of what I want to go over today. Now, this is a, a training that I borrowed from a gentleman named Dan Sullivan. He is the owner of Strategic Coach. They have offices in Chicago and Toronto. He's been coaching high-level entrepreneurs for over five decades. He's got something in the neighborhood of about 50,000 hours of coaching, and it's all geared towards entrepreneurs. And you know, looking, if you're ever thinking, hey, I want to join Strategic Coach, that's fantastic. So what they have is they have different levels, right? So you get to be in the room with other entrepreneurs, but other entrepreneurs that are at about your income level and, and just, just below, at, or just above, so that you guys are all kind of working on the same kind of problems, same kind of questions, and what you need to do to take that next step. You know, they have the the 100 to 200, 250 or so, they have the 250 and above, they have the million dollar earners and everything else. And they're talking about personal net income in that regards, right? So if you want to go join them, that's great. Um, I've had a chance to do some training with them. I met him at a couple of events as well. And he's just, for me, I think he's, um, you know, I, I love the way that he trains. I love his content. I love his outlook. One of his big things is helping you get to the point where with your business, your business can run and it's not all consuming, you know, how to figure out how to live a more balanced life when it comes to that and how to find some more joy and passion in what you are doing. Okay. So absolutely great training. A lot of his stuff is available online. I am 100% taking pieces of his training, not just pieces. I'm giving you some of the training and what I understand you know, based on who I've worked with and, and what I've experienced personally, and then you guys with your business, right? He talks about even within this training, if you go to that link, he's got a couple of different videos that you can watch. So what we did is yesterday, we talked about this model. So let me show you what the image looks like again, as a reminder, because we talked a little bit about the growth mindset. And then yesterday we were talking about needs and wants. Was that yesterday? Yeah needs and wants, right? Where you want to be. Now here though, what you're dealing with with your business, you have kind of these three levels. So if you're, he, one of the reasons that he uses this is for time management. And the reason behind that is this thinking that many time management programs were created at a time when the internet and social media weren't as prevalent as they are today. As a people on this planet, we've become more and more busy. We've become overwhelmed in many cases by the technology. We were talking about it at the beginning of this call. You, along with that, you have things like social media where friends are now congregating and you want to get information from there or you're running your business from there. And then there's elements of your business and they take up more and more time. And if you're not careful this and social media and life can eat you alive. And so you need to be in control of the choices that you make. So one of the things that he talks about here with this ABC model breakthrough is looking at where you are, looking at this A, B, and C and being honest. And so in the link that I gave you guys, it includes you know videos and trainings. What I'm looking at today is this scorecard. So some of you guys, if you can't read this on mine, you can pull it up on yours. It's in the link that I just posted inside the chat. You scroll up, click on that link, scroll down and download this. This is a PDF 
And instead of me trying to change it, there's no point. He's done a phenomenal job here. But I want you to think about kind of where this is at. Now, what you're going to do today is go through this. And there's these eight different mindsets. And there's a score of 1 to 12. So with eight different mindsets and these different scores, you're going to give yourself the one score where you currently are and where you would like to be in 90 days. He recommends doing this quarterly at a minimum, doing this quarterly. The biggest difference here with this and other things that you may do is that this is based off of emotion. As opposed to simply tasks. If you guys got in late, you may not see it. That's the link. Okay. All right. That's the link you can click on and then you can go download. It's also inside the, the Skype chat. Now, what do you guys think? Why is it important to, how can looking at time and how you spend your time and connecting that to emotion, how can it help you become more productive? What do you guys think? Um, to schedule and to set goals is going to help your motivation. Um, I can just put on my video. It's going to help your motivation and to really move yourself forward, I guess. Okay. So uh, your passion drives you more. Yeah, that can be part of it. You need to enjoy what you're doing. That's important. You become more engaged with things you enjoy doing. That's true as well. You know, when you are caught up, how effective are you at getting things done when you don't like doing it or when it causes stress? Right? You, you don't. Your productivity goes down. It's one of the reasons why when I talk about setting goals and we look at things, let's say that you're here. And one of the reasons that you're here is because you want to pay down debt, right? And let's be real. A lot of us have that as a goal. When we focus on that side of it, though, what feelings, what emotions are typically connected to debt? Negative. Negative. St stress. Very few people. Stress. Negative. Frustration. Frustration. Yeah. So Sadness. none of these are positive, right? Stress increases the cortisol levels. You don't sleep. You're more likely to eat nonsense, gain weight. You don't work out. When you're overwhelmed thinking about debt, those are those feelings. So when you're thinking about your goals, you're thinking about where you're going to go. You think about why you spend time doing anything. If it's associated with debt, emotions are transferable. Can we all agree on that? From one element of our life to another, emotions can transfer. It's the same reason why you may have had a, a relationship in the past that wasn't good for you emotionally, or there's some negativity with certain things, certain phrases, certain foods, certain songs, right? You bring that negativity, and now you're in this great positive relationship, and you're having a conversation, and all of a sudden, the negativity comes up simply because of some emotional connection that your brain has, right? And now it's ruined the day. You know, as a very simple thing, I've got, and we all have different things that we're working through. Well, look, with everything else going on in the world, and then, you know, there's a, a number of things right here that I'm having to put up with and having to do. And when you deal with an attorney or you're, you're doing other stuff for the new business and you're dealing with the bank for new business accounts and you're dealing with this for for that or other family matters that may all be involved. And when the emotions build up and when you include in that certain, you know, I've got along with awesome event birthday next week, I've got other dates of things that have happened in my life that happened in August that I, you work to get rid of, but inevitably there's still those little reminders. Well, when things build up, if you bring those emotions and you try and and work on something and those negative emotions are there, then it's frustrating. So if you're bringing, you know, the negative emotions from debt to sit and work on your business, over time, you're going to resent working on your business. Is that fair to say? If you had a job 
that you hated working with every time they had a new software, it was just frustrating to you over and over and over again. That was an issue. Then you started to believe you weren't any good at tech and then tech started to give you stress every time you sat down and worked with it. And now you're having to do some of it with the business, even though what you want to do with the business is to get you to freedom. But now you're stuck with this tech stuff and you just pissed off about it. Eventually you're going to hate working in the business and then you're going to end up quitting and you're going to blame it on the program or something else. And really what it is, is it started a few years ago with some other business that you had, some other job that you had, some other boss that pissed you off that said, hey, you're never going to learn this. I don't know why we waste our time training on you. And now you're struggling with your social media because of it. So yeah, emotions play a role. Now in this model breakthrough, then we're looking for ways that we can increase the positive emotion, things that fascinate us, things that interest us, things that motivate us. How can we find more of that? Well, some of that is going to be finding ways to either completely eliminate the negative or things that are frustrating, getting rid of that or outsourcing it completely, finding things that are, are okay and starting to either move some of those okay into something that fascinates us because we develop out a little bit more skill or we increase what fascinates us because our skill set has grown and then we can outsource even more. Okay, so um, I used to go to my shitty job and think about all the debt over my head and then it would take me down a dark hole. Yeah, and then you're just sitting there working all day, pissed off and stressed about it. Yeah, and then you have the Delta variant, definitely part of the stress. So you have the Delta variant, you have what's going on right now in Afghanistan. And if any of you guys have served in any way, first off, in anywhere around the world, because I know we have international here. So any of you guys that have served, especially over the course of the last 20, 30 years, and, and if you're feeling frustration, I, I didn't serve, but I have a lot of respect for it. Look, guys, reach out to somebody if you need it. You know, reach out. I'm, I'm not a licensed therapist, but if you need to talk, reach out. If you need to look somewhere else, there's resources there. So find it. Um, you know, I've got with everything going on, don't ever think something like therapy is, is a, is not something to do. I've got, I've got a therapist appointment tonight, right? I mean, sometimes that's what you need. So be willing to do that if you need to, but yeah, there's so much stuff going on. Hey, there's stress. It's there. Find the outlet that you need first. Now this ABC model breakthrough, I think can help. Because with this scorecard, you're looking at so many different angles and so many different things. Find it where it is you identify yourself. Okay. So there's this scorecard here. I would think, honestly, working with you guys, this is where you really need to be super honest with yourself. Incredibly honest. Because I've heard some of you go, well, this is what I'm thinking. And after a short conversation, I would say, nah, not really. Now, I don't think... Really, very few of you are going to have any ones, twos, and threes, I think. Okay, so um, the three-circle breakthrough, for example. Your whole business career has been almost entirely irritating, frustrating, complicated, and you don't see it improving. Or you'd love to have a better way to deal with the constant change, but you don't have a map for this. Or you know the structures and processes of your industry. You know what they are and you use best practices, or you continually organize your past, present, future. Like I keep transforming and I'm willing to be open about the emotions so that I can improve it. I have a feeling that most of the numbers you're going to have, and this is based on myself, this is based on having conversations with every single one of you pretty much. Most of the responses are probably going to be somewhere in this four to nine range. That's my guess. There's a, and then you're going to end up with maybe a couple of the one to three and a few of the 10 to 12. I would guess that most of them are going to be here, right? You have a job and so does everyone else in your company. I'm down here to tell the truth every 90 days. You have a job, so does everyone else in your company. No one gets paid unless everyone performs according to their job description. So you've got to look at this. You can look at this a couple of ways. Look at, at your basic work life where you've got it now and then also the business that you're in the process of developing so like down here the abc quarterly jumps you know that the future is so uncertain in your industry that you have no idea where you what your business will look like 10 years from now 
And then your excitement about the quarter's model breakthrough, ABC model breakthrough, increases your commitment to doing this for 25 years. Now, some of you guys hear that and you go, hell no. Understand, though, from the, the psychology side of this, where that's coming from. If I enjoy what I'm doing, I could see myself doing this in one form or another for the next 25 or 30 years. I don't have any problem with that. Here, you know, small groups, mastermind scenarios in front of a, you know, a live studio audience, some big event somewhere, whatever. I could totally see myself training and, and doing this for decades to come. Absolutely. But there's other elements. I know there's going to be some change. So I'm, you've got to look at that. So go through where are the scoring instructions. So it's right there on that. I, I mean, in the um, on the page leading to that. So if you've downloaded that link right here, you have the ABC model breakthrough card. Give yourself a score of one to 12 based on where your own mindset falls on the spectrum now. OK, first column at the right and then add them all up. Now think where you um, what score would represent progress over the next quarter, where you are and what that progress is. This is why you have to be 100 percent truthful with yourself. You have to. And be realistic with the progress, because understand mentally, you know, it's not it would be great if we, we were 12s all the way down. But none of you are in truth going to be 12s all the way down in a quarter. It's just life doesn't work like that, right? There's, we want progress and this is where you need to be realistic, but you have to be realistic about where you are now. And there's a reason for that is because, you know, we have, for example, within the dashboard and then we have the strategy session, we have these calls and then we have, you know, some people decide the accelerator is the way to go. Some people don't. There's a lot of different pathways to get wherever you want to go. But the most important element of this to understand is that you're starting from where you're starting. Forrest isn't starting from where Juliana's starting. Lynn isn't starting from where Chris is. Melissa isn't starting from where Sally is. Everybody's starting from their own thing. I can't come and give you step one, do this. Step two, do this. Step three, do this. When we talk about where you want your business and yourself personally to be and your, you know, your finances, for example, if I give you just a step-by-step, -step, but one of you is starting here and the other one is starting here and someone else is starting down here, none of you are going to end up where you need to be. Now, this is where I think right now in this world, a lot of people are getting confused between what is equitable, right? And people having the same amount of equity and, and entitlement in life and what's fair, like you're all given an opportunity. Now, the reality is, is around this world, some people start out with less and some people start out with more. And so it doesn't mean that accomplishing something is impossible. It means you may have a few extra steps and the level of difficulty is going to vary for every single person, right? It's the reason why children raised in the same household often end up in different places. Forget about different communities. How many of you guys have right now a relative that achieve something great and then, or in your own family, you know, one of them earned a bunch or became super successful and the other one ended up with nothing, paycheck to paycheck. Isn't, it's everything to do with how they decide they want to live their life, right? We've all got it. So you have to be honest with yourself. You have to. <clears throat> All right. So this scorecard is what I want you guys to spend time going over today. I we end up going a little bit uh, longer than I thought. So is my video in and out, guys, or is it okay? All right. All right. Well, hopefully, it, hopefully the recording will work out. So the link again, guys, right here for everybody. Click there. The link is also going to be inside the Skype channel. I've put it there. Go in, download what you need. Okay. Your brother-in-law played in the NHL. There you go. Yeah, Andrew, we're losing your video. You're getting really sluggish and your words are not matching with what you're saying. All right. I'll have to, I'll work on it. We're wrapping up anyway today, guys. So um, get in, do your self-assessment. Look at what you need for that scorecard. Think about where you are. Think about where you want to be in 90 days. Remember, this is 
this really is geared more towards kind of emotionally how you're responding, what's going on right now in your life, in your business. Take a look at that. Create your own if you need to, and then go from there. All right. Guys, go out. Be awesome. 4.30 today. This link is where we will be for um, you know, the little one-on-one interview type thing. Everyone can show up, you know, and I'll just take people in order. All right. If you haven't yet and you want to do that, then please go ahead and, and message me the topic. Appreciate you guys. We will talk to you soon. Sometimes people have what it takes, but they haven't recognized it yet. Just go forward. So what do you need to do? How do you stand out? So what you need to do is be that person that's different and is bigger than you think. Rise from the ashes and fly like the phoenixes that you